With the current not-so-great economy, there was a big turnout at the fountain's grand opening on June 30th. To say that it's been a 10-year joint vision with ourselves, the community, our consultants, and the city, of course, and we're very proud to be a part of Roseville and open up the Fountains Project. 320,000 square feet of shopping and dining delight waiting for Roseville's residents, South Placer, Sacramento, all over to come and experience the Fountains. So congratulations to the Bollingers. While people were cheering, the question was, will the economy support a shopping center of this kind? Roseville has the 10th highest retail sales in all of California, so it's a great market to be able to open a center like this. Look, if they can still come and enjoy the amenities, if they can't afford the stores, it's okay. They can come and play in the playground and, and enjoy the fountains and all the other amenities in the center. The ultimate goal of the fountains is to bring something that this community has not seen, both for pleasure and sales-wise. We still have um, four buildings yet to build here in Phase 1, and then we have all across um, the west side of Reserve to build Phase 2. So we'll be under construction probably for the next two years. Businesses all over the fountain say the shopping center will boost sales. Absolutely, because it's a very new um, area that most people will flock to. Absolutely. We feel very strongly that um, this is really a very, very customer-friendly environment, and we're thrilled to be a part of it. So is the economy affecting people's decision to come here? Yeah, we like going in all the stores. It's fun to look at the shop and I'm It's exciting to see what kind of new yeah. stores are coming. So as the fountain shows go on, plenty of people still come despite the economy. Daniel Wetter in Roseville, NBC.